Hey guys, Deanna here. What we've got for you today is some video of my bench setup. I talked about it on Instagram today and wanted to share with everybody on how I get my arch in my bench press. So take a look at this video and we're going to break it down. The first most important thing is to understand where your foundation is coming from. Um, the shoulders are the most important part of setting your foundation, so I like to set my shoulders on the bench first, make so, sure those are nice and tight. Stemming from your shoulders, you're going to make sure your neck is also planted and very tight. You don't want to be able to nod your head yes or shake your head no when you're planted on your neck. You want that to all be very secure. Now that we've set our foundation, the most important part to getting the height on your arch is actually going to be your hip mobility. A lot of people think arching is simply a back bend and that's not true. Your hips are what is going to give you that height of the arch. So you want to make sure that you do some hip openers prior to setting up for your bench. And a lot of time first arch benchers are surprised that their legs and their hips get so tight when they do arch. So make sure that you're keeping your hips nice, open, and wide. When I set up for an arched bench, I like to belt up. Um, I find that the belt kind of supports the arch a little bit. I try to keep my belt pretty loose. I would say looser even than a deadlift, but that helps keep the air control the same as it would in a squat or a deadlift, and it also supports the back bend in the arch. Finally, all of your power is actually going to come from your leg drive. I bench with my heels down, so that's where I'm pushing off the ground. Again, the second point of foundation, um, first the shoulders, second is going to be the heels. So you're going to think about staying tight and driving through your legs the entirety of the time. You want your legs engaged from the start of, to the finish of the lift. So let's go through this again over the video. First we're going to set our shoulders. Then we're going to make sure our neck is tight and unable to move and everything's locked in. Then we're going to set our hips and make sure those are nice and open. And finally, we're going to make sure that we're in the right position to grab the bar, setting our heels, making sure we've got a good platform to push off of before we begin the lift. If you missed it, we'll go through it one more time. You're going to drive through your heels, keep your hips open. That's where the arch is going to come from. Use your belt to support your arch. Your neck is going to be tight to your shoulders, and your shoulders are going to be planted firmly on the bench as your foundation. All right, guys, hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions about why I arch, why arching is not bad for my shoulder, why I'm not going to break my back, if you want to troll me, whatever you want to do, feel free to comment below or hit me on Instagram, Diesel Lifts. Thanks, guys.